Hey guys, Jeff here, welcome back to Jojo the Seven Stand User. When we last left off, we ended up taking on the Tower of Grey, and now we made it to Hong Kong. With that said, let's begin. Alright, believe it or not guys, I actually did a bit of training off screen, because the fight against Polnareff is kind of going to be difficult, because he's got a pretty high speed stat, and it doubles when you fight him. So, I've managed to go, go up a couple of levels, and I've got a pretty okay stats. I mean, my, my power, my spirit, and my speed is good. But, this problem is, my defense is atrocious. But, a good thing I have this. A crazy DX. This will increase my my attack stat by, by 3. So, I'll be in the 50s by then. There we go. And, let's take a look. Yep, 51. I mean, my speed is, is okay, but I really need to increase everything else. But, if we're lucky... We'll be able to win. Now, as you can see here, guys, my tactic is to charge. I looked it up, and apparently this is the best tactic for people who use Pharaoh Sanders. I am going to struggle with this, though, because I'm pretty sure... I think because of what kind of body type I've chose, I think that's actually affected my character's build. I'm not 100% sure, certain because the wiki didn't say anything about it. But, yeah. So, here we go. After you enter the restaurant, you won't be able to return to Hong Kong. Enter anyway. Yes. I knew it! There was no way it would be that easy. We'll have to strike air, strike air travel off the menu for now. If we get attacked by a sand in the air again, we could put, could put even more people's lives at risk. That leaves us land and sea. There are only Those are our only safe ways left to travel. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Ugh, that was embarrassing. But we only have 50 days to reach Dio. We can't afford to endanger Holly any further. <clears throat> Even if we weren't for that plane crash, we'd be, we, we would be in Kara now. I'm, sh I'm well aware. But fear not. Someone once wrote a book about going around the world in 80 days. That was back in the... Days of speed, steam power. Even though airplanes, even without airplanes, we should be able to reach Dio in less than half that time. Yeah, but believe it or not, I'm not sure. But was around the world in 80 days a real thing, or was it just a, or was it just a, a fiction? I'm pretty sure it was, but I'm not 100. percent I really need to look that up. Here's what I'm thinking: if we charter a ship, we'll. We can take it all the way to, out to Himalayas and through the Indian Ocean. Sort of like the Silk Road of the Sea. I agree, I agree with it, this plan. If we go by land, there's, there are things like deserts, the Himalayas, all kinds of complications, basically. I've never traveled either way, so I'll trust you. I'll just follow your lead. Same here. And here. Of course. Deal stand, stand users are going to be our biggest complications of all, regardless of which route we take. What we should really be thinking about is how we're going to reach our destination undetected. Hmm. Kakuin puts the lid of the teapot to its side. Hmm? Oh, you don't know? In Hong Kong, this means refill, please. And then after that, after they bring more tea, you tap the table twice to say thanks. I'm not sure that's true, but I'm not going to go to the Chinese restaurant and try this because it just doesn't sound right. And plus, I don't think I'll ever actually go to, um, uh, what's the word? Oh, yeah, I, I doubt I'll ever actually go to, um, China, so, yeah. Okay. Wow. You know a lot about this stuff. Pardon me, but could you help me? This thing from France, I can't seem to read the menu. Go bother someone else. Hey, Jotaro, no need to be rude. Excuse him. I've been to Hong Kong enough times to be able to read the menus at least. What would you like? This one is shrimp, this one's duck. Finally, they brought Joseph's orders. Rice porridge, roasted sp spit roasted frog, shellfish, and simmered whole fish. Ugh, I think the I think the split roasted frog sounds disgusting. I mean, ugh. 
I never saw why, f why the French like frog's legs, but this is just sickening. Ugh. And again, I guess s some people just like certain things. Hm. I'm not one to judge. Mm. What? <laughs> well, eat, eat up everyone, it's all on me. All this stuff is good here, so it doesn't really matter what you order anyhow. <laughs> hmm. Rock on? Rock on. Oh, isn't that cute? This, this place has such fine attention to detail. Look at how they cut this carrot. It's shaped like a star. You know, I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. <clears throat> oh, I remember now. A friend of mine has a birthmark just like this on the base of his neck. <clears throat> D don't tell me. Are you a stand user? The rice part of Joseph suddenly begins to bubble. Mr. Joseph, get out of the way! A, a rapier! There's a rapier in the porridge! It's a stand! Magician's Red! The rapier slashes at the flames and, and they vanish. What? Did he just do that with his sta with his sword? Look at look a stand. It looks like a knight. My stand represents the chariot or Kaona. I call it silver chariot. Mohammed Abdal. It looks like it looks like it wants to take you on first. See that table over there? I've carved a clock on it with used using your flames. When when they reach twelve o'clock, I will kill you. That's an unbelievable swordsmanship. I've never seen anything like it. But taking me down before the clock strikes 12... Don't you think you're giving yourself a little too much credit, Mr... Er... Uh, call me Polnareff. Jean-Pierre Polnareff. Merci beaucoup. It's very kind of you to introduce yourself, however... Hmm? Whoa! Have the... Burns half the table to ashes with a flick of his wrist. Monsieur Abdul, my flames are not like the typical ones. Don't think that they can be blown away, blown by the wind, or that they are only burned upwards. These flames bend to my will. That's why I call my stand Magician's Red. Hmm. They say the world was born in a sea of flames. I suppose your magician is supposed to be the one that controls them. A noble stand indeed. However, you need to think I'm all talk. Let me show you. Oh, damn it. I, believe it or not, guys, I wasn't even touching anything. I, I, obviously, he's, he's showing off what he's about to... He's showing off his sword skills here. Pora threw five coins up in the air. He skewered the coins with his sword. All in a blink of an eye. No. Take a closer look. He pierced Abdul's flames too. Uh... I see. You pierced my flames along with the coins. It seems you understand why I did this. Call me what you like, but I'm no bigot. My silver chariot can cut fast to slice through air itself. Therefore, your flames are them, but nothing before my sword. My sword, the chariot, my card, the chariot, symbolizes victory and acts of aggression. In a crowded place like this, it would sweep, sweep the floor with you. But your stand's ability works best in open places, does it not, Abdol? Such a one-sided battle isn't becoming of a noble stand like mine. Show me even the odds a bit. This one I like, though. I like the fact that even though he's, you know, under control, Abdol in Polnareff is still, you know, a chivalrous guy. You know, he later just becomes the comic relief of, of the series. Alright, so let's save here. Why do we take this somewhere a little more... a little less cramped? Allow me to show you your deathbed. What is this place? So, the Tiger Palm Garden is our battlefield. Allow me to make a prediction, Abdul. Here you will be undone by your own stand's power. Hmm? He seems pretty nonchalant about it all. Abdul, stand back, Jotaro. It's, as he said, my stamp performs best in open places such as these. Hmm. I see where, where you're coming from. 
What if he has a right where he wants us? Let's decide among ourselves who will take him on. Do what you will. I will eliminate you all in due time, however. Believe it or not, guys, this is actually something that I actually kind of like happens. So, in this game, there's actually something called social points. At least I think that's what it's called, or friendship points. And by doing certain actions with certain characters, it actually it causes different things in the game. Or it can even improve your karma and your friendship with people. So, we have Abdul find him alone. That will increase our friendship with him. So, that's what we're going to do. Both opponents summon their stands. On guard! To shake! I don't even remember where I got that from. I think that was from an old um, Bugs Bunny cartoon. I think because I used to have the All-Star DVD series that I bought in Tesco when I was a little kid. Hmm. It dodges Magician's Red's attack. Take that! And that! Magician's Red dodges it eff effortlessly. What's wrong? Not going to use those flames you talked about so much. In that case... Um, I'll make the first move. Horror, 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 horror. All right, here we go. Win conditions. Enemy is defeated. Fail conditions. All party members are KO'd. All right. So for this, guys, we actually have to use an AOE attack. So we have to hit every opponent on the board. So, so firewalls are best shot. All right. See. But, but like I said, go guys. The next, ba the second round is even harder. So if we're lucky, I'll be able to survive that fight because I have a lot more health than Abdol. But however, I might be a bit more fragile. Come on, Abdol, you can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you. And also, I'm hoping that I'm not. I'm not looking so in depth into this game, but I'm hoping if I get a high enough friendship with both. Abdol and Kokui, I can prevent what happens later on in the game. Oop, damn. I'm nearly dead here. Uh, okay. Damn. Uh, ointment. Too slow. Oh, oh, thank God. He, I just lost sight of him. Whew. Whew, my heart, my heart was in my throat then for a second. Alright. Uh, Alright, Abdol, you nearly got it, pal. Ooh, that hurts. All right, let's go for an ointment. Okay. Ooh, I got a nice amount of health. Funny enough, if I actually move those numbers around, I I will get the, the exact same, the right amount of health. Hm. One thing, what does the fire even do? Is it actually damaging him? Because I feel like it's not. Come on. Alright, so he's, he's obviously still trying to dodge, but obviously, if I keep using Firewall, I'm actually going to beat him. On guard! Ooh, he flushed the lightning speeds. Okay, one more. Too slow! Abdul can't find the opponent. Alright. This fight's got to be nearly over at this point, hasn't it? Yes! Knocked him out! To be continued. 7 experience gains and 250 gold. Nice. Hmm? What's wrong? What about that sorcery you bragged about so much? Why do you take a look behind you? What? Ah, uh, Abdol, look! Tch. When did you carve that rock? Damn, he's just making a fool of us! Hmm. It goes nicely with the rest of the statues in this garden, don't you think? Looks like I have... To get serious. Oh, this this is getting interesting. Get ready. Prepare yourself. Crossfire Hurricane. I love using that that that's uh, I just love saying that attack. Crossfire Hurricane. Even though it sounds like yo know, Crossfire. That weird toy that was back popular in the nineties. Hmm. Is that all you've got? What a disappointment. Shoot, he deflected it back at Abdol. Looks like my prediction was correct. W what? I thought I killed him for sure. Where are those flames coming from? Ugh! But I caught on, did you? The flames made are hard to tell. But you but you cut was the statue you carved your set yourself carved. You thought it was the real thing because it 
melt, melt to the joint so it could move. T damn you! This is the end of the line, Polnareff. Take this! Crossfire Hurricane! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Try to predict a for Try to predict the future in front of a fortune teller. You're ten years too young. Looks like we made it. He should be out of commission for the next few months after that attack. Well, we better get going. Egypt's a long way off. Wh what? His stamp broke into pieces! Bravo! Oh, bravo! Bastards. He looks like he's as good as new from the couple of scrapes and bruises. And how is he floating in the air like that? Ha ha ha, why don't you take a closer look? No! How? Viola, this is my stand, Silver Chariot, without its armor. Now, I won't be very nightly mean just to attack you without explaining my stand's power, would it? What, you, what do you say about a little time out? By all means, go ahead. What you, what you seen earlier was my stand being dismantled, but just the removal of its armor. What you, what you burned off was just pieces of, of the armor. That did, in fact, damage me, but considerably. And now, without all that extra weight, you find that my stand is quite fast indeed. The reason you can't see it if it lifts me is because it's moving too fast for the naked eye. I see. So what you're trying to say is that my crossfire hurricane was able to hit you because of the extra weight. But without your armor, the next hit will be fatal. You realize that, yes? Well, yes, if it hits, but it's impossible. You're about to see something that makes you quake in your boots. Well, please do show us. Silver Chariot split into seven. Wh what? His stamp multiplied! How? It's not supposed to be one to a person. Well, not in my case. Yeah, this is actually unique dialogue, guys, if you actually get a swarm type stand. And I, I do love that attention to detail. Like, depending on what stand you get, it affects what happens in the game. And I, I just love that. Looks like my prediction was correct again. You're all scared as hell. These are apt images, from friends. Just the illusion created by my stand's movement. Now tell me, how does Silver Chariot's Blade feel now? You know what? I'll fight it myself. Come at me, Abdol! I mean, pull the ref. Well, that's embarrassing. Alright, here we go. I know I'm not as fast, but I've got more health than I did in the last fight, so if I'm lucky... Hmm. I need something... Let's see, inflect de effect electric damage on all opponents. If I'm lucky, this will do some do something. Too slow! Okay, I moved too slow. Oh, I lost sight. Slashed away. Okay, took 16. 15. No, don't, don't, don't be scared. Come on. Don't be scared. Whew! Oh, come on! Come on, dude. Yes, lightning storm! Alright, one of them was paralyzed. Come on. Alright. Oh, God. I feel like I've got any health left. Okay, if I'm lucky... Come on. It's useless! You can't take as many swipes of after, after images you like. But you'll never hit my stand. Rock on! Then I'll just have, have to hit you, won't I? Okay, one... Okay. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, damn, I was knocked out. Ugh, that's embar... That's annoying. Huh. Thinking about it, maybe be smarter if I actually hit Polnareff only. I don't know how much health Polnareff has, but if I'm lucky, if I hit him with one, with one of my more severe attacks, I should be able to do it. So we're just going to skip all the dialogue, guys, because we, we already know what he's saying. Alright, so if I think it's a good idea, though, guys, if I actually go and try and hit... Polnareff with one of my own attacks. Like, with my strongest attack. So, hopefully I get it right. Alright, Firewall! Alright, come on. Good, Polar have dodged. I mean, no, not good. Not good at all. What am I saying?
Oh. Come on. Okay, I've taken damage slowly, but at least at least I'm able to do more at least I'm doing more damage to him all in all. Come on. Alright. Let's heal first. Oh, oh, I only have full health after that attack. Good. Knocked him out. Alright. So, for lucky guys, I may be able to hiss him if I just attack him only. Hopefully, I, I make the right call here. If not, then it's going to be a lot harder. Yeah, we know all about this, guys, don't we? So, if we're lucky, I'll be able to hit Abdol. I don't know how much health Abdol has, but... It's inc it's This is definitely a very difficult fight, particularly the part where he basically splits into seven. Like, as you saw, guys, I did damage them a lot with that lightning strike, but it just didn't do enough. Because I need to be able to paralyze all of them... And that's it. Paralyze all of them in one go. Alright. Alright. Fight him yourself. Alright. Let's see what kind of skills I can use. Uh, let's see. Inflict damage to one opponent. Static. Lightning Storm. Tempest. Tempest might be my smartest because it's severe it's severe lightning on all everything. So let's see if this one works better than lightning storm. Fingers crossed, guys. Here we go. Tempest! Are you scared? Oh damn. Okay, good. I'm only bleeding. I wasn't I wasn't afflicted with a, with a fear status. Ugh. Come on. Okay, I'm still bleeding. Oh come on. Let me attack already. Good! Ho! Good, I knocked one of them out. Another one. And another one. And another. Oh, oh god, I barely got any health left. Okay. It's useless! You can't take, take as many swipes of the afternoons as you like. You'll never hit, hit my stand. Rock on! I'll just have to hit you, won't I? Alright. Oh. Huh. I can't believe he actually did that. Okay. Oh, no. Please let me heal. No! Come on. Oh, knocked out again. Oh, if if only I was able to get all of the... the if I could hit all the serial chariots in one go with my Tempest, I would have won that. All right, let's try that again, guys. Huh. <sighs> I'm going to keep trying, guys, but I have a feeling, though, that I won't... I might not beat him in this video. Alright. Come on. Yep, yeah, I know. Ooh. All right, come on, Abdul. You can do this. I'm just glad I chose to wear the bulky comic magazine because that's actually preventing critical hits when, 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 with me, which I'm actually happy about. All right. Problem is that this guy is quite difficult. Come on. Ooh. 
All right. Let's use the ointment. The ointment's pretty good for, for Abdol, but for me, the, the definitely the best healing item is definitely going to be the, the first aid kit. Because it actually heals a lot more health. Okay. Come on. Come on, Abdul. You've got this. I believe in you. Oop. Might need to heal. Oop. Only took 8 damage. Oop. 16, actually. Well, got 62 in the health. Good. Oop. Oh, that, that hurt. Oh, whew. Knocked him out. Alright. Well, I made the right, so I think if I make the right call and use Tempest again in this next fight, hopefully I'll be able to take out, I'll either hope to paralyze all the Silver Chariot after images, or hopefully paralyze them all. Either paralyze the ones that survive, and hopefully, you know, that would be good, very good indeed. Come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We know. Believe it or not, guys, I actually watched, decided to look up someone who did this before. And by looks things like he actually did beat this on his first try. But I don't know what strategy he was using, because he was using a, a lower level. I think he might have had, you know, like, a higher defense stat. Because he probably went for a more defensive strategy compared to me. Because I've been told that I'm probably wrong with this, but apparently the charge tra tactic. Oop. Oop. Please tell me I chose to attack him. Oh. No, it's Abdol fighting again. Calm down, Abdol. You gotta come up with, a, with something fast. Learned plan. Wow. Okay. Uh. Brainstorm! Okay, that's op overpowered. But I was hoping I would be the one to fight, but what can I do, eh? It's what the game wants. But, yeah. I have no idea what I should do here. <sighs> that's, this is embarrassing. I should not have been so quick to, to press all the buttons. Uh, hopefully this battle goes a lot better than normal. Alright. Let's see what ones I use Brainstorm. Too slow! Alright. Yeah, Abdul's going to take a lot of damage now. This is my own fault, though, for hitting the wrong button. Abdul's thinking. You can't think of anything. Really? Ugh. Alright. Let's use Firewall. Try and do some damage. Okay, now Abdul's bleeding and he's out of sight. Damn it! Come on, Abdul. Alright. So it's only doing 20 damage, which isn't good because apparently each after image has a grand total 50 hit points. Alright, so let's see if I use Brainstorm again. Ugh. Come on, Abdol. I wish I didn't click Abdol's by accident, but I guess I don't really have much of a choice, do I? Abdol, stop the bleed. Abdol's thinking, you can't think of anything? For God's sake, Abdol! 
<laughs> I'm letting you brainstorm here and you're getting killed. And Abdul's lost. Brilliant. And he's gonna lose in this round, I can feel it. Alright, come on. And... Okay. Still... Okay, I still... I still didn't do enough damage. To, well, took out one, thank god, but it's only one. Two. Three. Four. Alright. Oh my god, I only... I don't, look, how, look how much little health I have left. Alright, first aid kit. Alright, come on. And Abdul's knocked out cold. Well, guys, I'm going to end this video here. So, like we saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Jeff, and I'm out, and I'm out of here. See ya. Frickin' rapiers.